Hey everyone, it's Professor Dave. Let's talk about Robinson annulation. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. So if we remember our Latin, annulation comes from annulum, which means ring. And so this is a reaction, a very good one, in fact a Nobel Prize winning reaction, in which we are able to generate ring systems, which are very important because a lot of natural products uh, are polycyclic. They have a lot of rings, and so if we are going to uh, mimic natural products, we are going to be able, uh, need to be able to build rings. So the Robinson annulation is actually a combination of these other enolate uh, reactions that we've been looking at. It is actually a, a Michael addition followed by an intramolecular aldol condensation. So we'll see what that means here. Um, so th this is the reaction. That, that, that Robinson did here. Uh, so we're going to look at this substrate and we're going to generate an enolate just like we did for the aldol and the Michael stuff. So uh, the reason that we're going to extract this proton over ones here or here, which also could be used to enolize, uh, this actually has the lowest pKa on the molecule because if it deprotonates here, this electron density can participate in resonance not just up into this carbonyl, but down into that carbonyl as well. Further delocalization means additional stabilization, so that's why this ends up being the most acidic uh, proton on the molecule. So that's the one that we're going to deprotonate. We'll arbitrarily have that go up into this carbonyl here. <coughs> so there is our enolate. Now the first thing this is going to do is it's going to attack this molecule here. So remember, this is the alpha-beta unsaturation that we remember from a substrate in any Michael addition. So the first step is a Michael addition. This pi bond goes here. And so there's the first attachment. We have, we have formed this new carbon-carbon bond right there. That is the first step of any Michael addition. And we have attached this uh, carbon fragment here. So let's just uh, protonate that. Grab a proton from a water molecule. And there is our enol. So we remember the enol from the Michael addition. And now we're just going to tautomerize. Once again, this is just energetically favorable. We're swapping out better, uh, higher energy containing bonds for the lesser ones. So this is going to be a, a better situation. So that's the tautomerization. And there is our 1,4 uh, Michael addition. If this was carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, we've got that 1,4 dione. So this is our Michael addition product right there. So that's step one. So we've done one part of it. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, well, well, let's take a look. If we are going to deprotonate again, let's say we deprotonate at this position. So I'll draw in one of the implied hydrogens. And this hydroxide will go and grab this. This bond will go here. And we will generate another enolate, right? Because what we're going to do now is something pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> Whereas in solution, a substrate typically has to swim around to find something to interact with, here we have a much uh, more kinetically favorable situation. We have the opportunity to do an intramolecular reaction. That is when a, when a molecule reacts with itself because uh, this enolate sees something that it can react with in its immediate vicinity. There is this carbonyl over here. Enolates interact with carbonyls. We're going to be able to save a lot of time and just have this go ahead and react right there on the other portion of the molecule. So this carbon will go and attack that carbon. And so this is the new bond right here. So this is an intramolecular aldol condensation. We're doing a 1-2 addition. So this is directly attacking a carbonyl carbon. There's no alpha beta unsaturation here, so it's just aldol, it's not the Michael. But this is what we're going to end up getting, OK? And then we will protonate again, just as we did. Oops, I meant to use the, the red there. So we'll go ahead and protonate again giving us the hydroxyl, and then the last step of the aldol condensation we know is going to be an elimination. So that gives us the unsaturation right there, and uh, so that's our, that's our Robinson annulation product. 
So this is a very powerful reaction for a number of reasons. We are utilizing chemistry that nature uses itself. That is the aldol condensation, that is the Michael addition. And we were able to go from this to a much larger structure. It's a much more complex uh, molecule and that could be a starting point to go ahead and fuse an additional ring uh, or, and make some kind of uh, uh, steroid resembling compound or something like that. Um, and so we have generated a new six membered ring and that's a very powerful reaction, the Robinson annulation. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and as always feel free to email me with questions, professordaveexplains at gmail.com.